Hey everyone, David here with Headset Advisor, and today we are going to show you what Plantronics Hub software is, why you would use it, and also if you're just looking to download the Plantronics Hub software, I'm going to put the link in the description below. It's free, it's provided by Plantronics uh, directly. So let's dive into what Plantronics Hub is all about. So for starters, I'm using a Plantronics Voyager 4220, and my voice is being recorded through this microphone here, and it's paired to my computer through a USB dongle called a BT600 that kind of looks like this. And what that does is allows um, the headset to connect to my computer and then be optimized with the Plantronics Hub, Hub software. And why do I want to do that is just so that um, this headset can be fully functioned um, sound quality wise as well as wireless range. And it's uh, so it can be um, connected to your computer software such as your Zoom, your Microsoft Teams, Ring Central, any of those uh, software applications, the headset can be optimized to be able to answer and end calls with the push of a button, which completely helps being wireless. So you could be out grabbing a cup of coffee, push a button on your headset and answer your phone call coming in. It's very efficient, makes you miss less calls and just be overall more productive. One other thing that the Hub software does is allows you to adjust all the settings on your headset. There's actually quite a few um, advanced features on your headset that you can modify to your liking. So you can customize your experience and um, kind of change some of the settings on your headsets where there's only a few buttons on the headset such as volume, there's mute, pairing, those types of things directly on the headset that you uh, can't adjust the other advanced settings without the Plantronics Hub software. So let's dive into the software. Let me show you what it's like. Let me share my screen here really quick. All right. So what you're looking at now is the Plantronics Hub screen. This is the, the home page when you first launch it, when you have a headset connect connected. And again, uh, I am using the Voyager 4220. And as you can see, I have it on the most updated firmware version. Um, which is another benefit of the software is that's what actually does the updating of software for your headset. So they're constantly coming up with updates to make sure that it's working at peak efficiency, uh, getting any of the bugs out of uh, the software and lots of um, hardware out there gets outdated just because companies will update something, your Windows machines updated, your uh, software is updated for some reason and it, it just makes the headset stuff not work where that's why they launch an updated firmware version of your headset just to make it work better more efficient more reliable which is always good i like to keep my uh headset up to date so that's why it's uh, got the green letting us know that it's updated here your talk time what your headset is connected to and in this case it's the dongle the bluetooth dongle that i was mentioning and some quick guides for uh, your user guide or the manual. Um, what this tab is right here, the BT600, what that is is the dongle that I was telling you about is uh, connected to the computer. So those are two independent devices that need to be updated. So as mine is not currently up to the most current firmware, so that's something that I need to do. And you can tell when you need a firmware update by this notifications tab at the top. I click onto there, it shows me all of the devices on uh, my computer, my Plantronics devices that need to be updated. So the, uh, the dongle and also the hub software itself needs to be updated. So I will do that later. Okay, so back to um, the headset here, I wanna show you the settings that you can adjust. So quickly on the settings tab, you click the down arrow there, Let's go to general. So you have quite a few options to uh, modify here on the software. So answering call alert. So you can hear uh, a voice in your headset when a call um, is answered or not answered. Call announcement, uh, when a call's coming in, you can hear a voice um, or tone. Uh, when a phone call is coming in, which uh, if you want, if you, you could have your ringing come through your speakers and then just turn off 
that ringing in your headset so you don't have to get you know double the amount of ringing if you don't want there's uh, quite a few ones here uh, notification tones if you want to hear the notifications on your computer through your headset online indicator which is just a LED light on the side of the headset letting people know that you're on a phone call versus not on a phone call so you can turn that feature on or off you can have uh, different settings for a uh, second incoming call you can have it ring continuously or ring once it's just up to your preference then um, you have some adjustments here for uh, product improvement for Plantronics. I have set to off, but basically that just sends them data um, about your headset usage and helps them out. Okay, settings here. So language, you could change the language of uh, that speaks in your headset, such as pairing, such as answering, any of the voices that the headset says you can change really quickly here. So if you prefer to be in a different language on your headset, you can do that. Ringtones and volume. So you can play a ringtone um, on your headset there. So side tone is a feature that a lot of people actually ask questions about. And that's um, just you being able to hear your voice through the headset and it helps you just talk a more proper volume. So this particular one is set for medium. You can change it to high so you can really hear the voice coming through the, the headset. So basically when you're speaking, you can actually hear it in the headset itself, which uh, I just changed right there. Volume level tones. Uh, when adjusting headset volume, hear tones indicating your current level. So just when um, you're adjusting your volume up and down on the headset, you can get an indication letting you know that um, your headset volume is max or minimum. So what kind of alerts? This would be a voice alert. Okay, ring location. So uh, for any incoming calls, play the ringtone on the primary device only or on all attached audio devices. So you could do the primary device or any Plantronics device. So if you happen to have you know, a poly speaker phone, you could play it there as well. So let me change that back. Um, side tone can be annoying because it makes it sound like you're echoing in your headset. So uh, it could get a little annoying if you don't like that. Okay, soft phones. This is a uh, big important uh, feature of the Plantronics Hub is being able to answer and end calls while away from the desk. I have it set for Zoom right now, but there's all these other ones, Avaya, uh, Broadsoft, Cisco, Jabber, uh, Microsoft Link, Microsoft Teams. Um, there's a whole bunch of them. And there's even all these other ones here that you could connect to. So I have uh, Ring Central uh, as well. So you can get this plugin that actually utilizes the Plantronics Hub software to be able to answer and end calls from Ring Central. But I'm gonna put this, uh, you could set it to Zoom here. Media player action on incoming calls. So you can set what the button is, uh, does on the headset when you um, push the button. So you can either have no action ha happen or you can do pause and resume. All right, sensors and presence aware for Microsoft. So you can either have it aware for Microsoft or you can turn that off. Wireless setting. So extended range mode. Get improved range from your PC to your headset. So if you want even further wireless range, you can hit the on button. So HD voice is wideband audio. I'm gonna go ahead and activate that and you should be able to hear a better quality voice, but let me go ahead and do that now. And the reason that it's set to off uh, normally is because, um, oh yeah, so you probably don't hear my improved voice because I got to uh, unplug and replug in the feature, but basically it consumes a lot more battery power, re uh, reducing talk time. So if talk time's of, of a concern, you got to turn that feature on, but that's another benefit of 
the Plantronics Hub software is you can make your voice go into HD mode and you can even sound better. So why not be able to adjust a setting like that? Okay, streaming audio, enable to stream music, podcasts, and other types of audio from your mobile device to your headset. If you're not streaming audio to your headset, disable this feature to help you conserve battery life. That is cool, so you can listen to music simultaneously um, doing your calls. All right, advanced. Anti-startle, uh, uh, so this is intelligent algorithms that eliminate acoustic shock from loud sounds, instantly reducing them to ensure you're protected. So basically you can turn this feature on so that uh, you don't get any loud, um, abrupt sounds coming through your speakers, potentially um, causing irritation to your ears or anything like that. Monitor and control average daily noise exposure to ensure that it does not exceed the selected action. So you can uh, limit the amount of loudness that is, is heard through your speakers. So those are some good advanced ones. And you could, of course, reset them to default. All right. And that is all of the settings. Let me check the BT600, see if there's any additional settings here. So um, you can put the, the Bluetooth dongle into pairing mode to make it easier to pair uh, instead of having to push the button on the dongle. And then let's see, ringtones, primary device, soft phones. So this does the same thing as the headset and Microsoft. All right, so that is all of that. Let me stop sharing my screen here. So quick recap on, oh, before we do that, please hit the thumbs up button on this video. That really helps us out very much. And also subscribe to our channel as we are constantly pushing out content related to new, uh, new headsets, product reviews, comparisons, all of that stuff, and microphone tests so that you get um, the full experience of headsets. So subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, put it in the comment section below. Um, we respond to every single comment. We really appreciate it. Okay, so quick recap. So why do you want to use the Plantronics Hub? One, to uh, improve the communication of your software. So if you're using any of those ones that you saw on that list, Avaya, Ring Central, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, any of those type of software communication platforms, that's gonna allow you to get remote answering just by having that software downloaded here. You can update the firmware of your equipment so that it's working properly. That's a big troubleshooting step if your headset's not working properly. Simply update the firmware and the, the headset equipment and restart your computer. That fix fixes a lot of the troubleshooting issues. So that's another reason. Uh, adjusting the advanced settings, just like I showed you, HD voice, uh, audio tones, uh, LED lights, battery save. There's a lot of things that you can do to customize the headset to your specific needs. So those are uh, some top three reasons why you want to download the Plantronics Hub. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section below. Other than that, if you're looking for some headsets for your computer that are Plantronics enabled, I will put a link in the description below to our most popular Plantronics headsets on our website. Love for you to check it out. Other than that, that's all I got for you for now. And until next time, thanks a lot for tuning in.